So we just going past the pub now, guys. This area right here is right next to where the western tadpoles are, and this area floods every so often, very rarely, but it has flooded quite a few times in the past where the flood, pub's been completely flooded. So it actually goes over this area here. Here comes my mate Rick. Hates me filming. Billy, my porn star man. How are you, mate? What are you up to? Oh, I don't know, what? Just taking a load of junk out of the ship. Oh, okay. Your boss is gonna do it. When are you going to let me um, film your beautiful antique shop? What? Well, when are you going to let me film your beautiful antiques? Well, not much. Okay. You coming out to the ship? What are you doing? Oh, I'm just been out there, mate. I'm... You see the hole I'm digging? I'm have taking you... another half hour of it. Have you been digging out there? Yeah. You find anything? No. Oh, two bottles. Oh, okay. I'll have a look at these bottles, guys. Rick's a big bottle digger. Oh, nice. What's that one? Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah, nice. An old sweats bottle. No. Oh, thanks, mate. Oh, I might see you. I'll come and see you later. I'm... See you, mate. See all these beautiful old broken antique bottles. Really old too, these ones are. You ever come across stuff like this? You've got a rake, break it, and you never know what you might find. You might find a nice intact bottle. So old tin guys, we just saw that old dump. I'm gonna take this one home. I like finding old tins like this, and I just put them in my garden for little animals to live in or Reptiles or a bit of um, Australiana decoration, a bit of rustic um, decoration in the garden, and you just kind of forget about it. And one day you stumble back across it and find out what might be living in there, or it's a, it just looks nice. Quite a bit of um, rubbish around here, guys, which is an awesome sign for metal detecting. Looking for bottles, I can see a couple of bottles so we'll come here next time with the dogs for a nice walk here's an old billy can even something like that guys I'd pick up and take home to hang off the tree, that's beautiful even though it's a rusty piece of crap but still it's got the handle and that will absolutely beautiful hanging off a tree, so we'll take that Overseas fuels, a billy can is how they used to boil the hot water back in the old days to so have a cup of tea. It's a nice old Australian relic. A few bottles here, guys. And definitely more underneath this bark. Nice bit of ceramic over there. It's this one here. That one there. Beautiful old green bottle. Nice, but there's definitely would be more bottles around here, guys. We're not too far away from a farmhouse. Where I am right now is um, basically like a reserve, so I don't need permission to walk around here. So we'll come for a walk here next time we check those traps, or the camera traps and the Pascagall box, and we'll go for a walk looking for bottles. So yeah, nice old piece of homemade tin guys, that is beautiful, look at that. That probably would have been used for a tool, to store tools. I'll take that as well, that's an awesome find. Made out of galvanised iron.
Yeah, fellas, it's a nice old champagne bottle or old beer bottle. It's definitely intact, I reckon. All right, beautiful. Love finding these too, but I'll leave that there. And there you go guys, beautiful piece of old broken crockery, look at that. It would have been worth some good money if it was intact. Right, hey guys, look at this, an old battery. Never seen one like this before, with those little ceramic things sticking out. I reckon that would be embossed too, those things on the bottom. Possibly. Yep. There you are. Oh, I've found these before. I was always wondering what they were. I thought these were old matchstick strikers. So I found these at the old local rubbish dump. So now I know what they are. Off batteries. When I first found it, guys, I've actually got one sitting on my computer. I thought they were like pub matchstick strikers. Back in the old days, they'd strike the match along the side. Or down here. So, next to my cup, I'll pick this one up. We'll take those out. Just tell you fellas, a nice little piece of brass and aluminium. I wonder what this is going to be. We'll take a photo of it. There you are. That is a beautiful green whole book sauce bottle, guys. So you can just see how far all this soil has built up over time so basically it was sitting like this 50 years ago or you know 80 years ago probably around 50 i reckon and eventually all these trees the acacia trees or their bark and leaves fall off and they get covered and that's how you find these dumps and just below there's a little mound right here so there's definitely bottles under here for sure guys so we'll come back for here next time and do a bit of a dig. Cup. And right here, guys, I can see more bottles. More bottles, guys. Oh, nice, an old brill crow. Oh, that's beautiful, that one. Oh, shit, I haven't got one of those. Never seen one before. Murray's. That is awesome. Murray's, it's like a, probably a hair cream jar. That is beautiful. What's this one going to be? Oh, an old little, probably mint sauce bottle or something like that. Definitely bottles here, guys. Aluminium. Oh, look at this. What a good sign, guys. It's going to be a, I reckon, probably a Woods Peppermint Cure or a Californian Fig Syrup Bottle. That's what it is. Californian Fig Syrup Bottle, guys. Awesome score. So we'll just rake away a little bit. There's definitely going to be more bottles under here, guys. What's this? It's asbestos on oh, no, a rusty can. Oh, look at this. No, it's a screw top. Don't really like these ones too much. Plain embossed. But anyway, guys, like I say, metal detect and you will find stuff. Look at that. That's an old curtain. A curtain um, hook, I think. So, what an awesome score just by digging. Pulled out a little bit of brass, so there's bound to be good stuff here. So I'll make a part two, guys, after I dig up this bottle right here. What's this one? Old beer bottle. Not embossed. It's 
so that's an old beer bottle guys look how deep it is you know not that deep but still you can just see where all this bark has fallen on top of it another bottle here oh look at that guys it's still got the label on it so stay tuned guys we'll come back here in the next week or so maybe do a bit of a dig metal detect and we're bound to find stuff i reckon we'll find some good stuff here guys definitely coins dog tags and who knows what else and we'll go for a big walk around this bush it's pretty big all right guys thanks for watching and it's going to be another exciting adventure to find some nice old bottles and stuff and this ground's perfect for using your bare hand All right, guys, see ya. Guys, what an awesome score. I haven't found a beautiful Coca-Cola bottle for ages, if not years. It's so hard to come by because, as you know, you'd hand them back in and you get some money. And look how green this beautiful Coca-Cola bottle is. Just sitting here, guys, right next to some old rubber tyres. So if someone's come and dropped off some tyres, a bit of concrete or lime. Had a drink of Coke out there, threw it out the truck. That is an awesome score. Loving it guys, it is beautiful. Good things coming through guys, look at that, another one. Will there be another one around here somewhere? Bound to be underneath this rubber. Oh yes, no, nah. no, nah. there's probably bottles under here, under underneath this lime or concrete or whatever it is. Beer bottle that's modern, not that old. Awesome guys. It's going to be broken? I don't think so. Oh, look at that, guys. That is beautiful. I had to sell most of my bloody beautiful Coke bottles. I probably haven't even got any decent ones left. I, this is an awesome score. Nice. I will come back again and lift off a few rocks. There's bound to be stuff under there, too. Those Coke bottles, guys, are a heap of old rusty cans. You can see one bottle. It's not that old. So we'll just take the dogs for a quick swim, guys. It's a bit warm and haven't been for a swim for a few days. And we'll take off to my scrap. I want to go out there and just cut off some copper off some of my air conditioners. Sophie will get excited in a minute, guys. As soon as she go for a swim. Go for a swim. 
Look out. Eliza Barello reports from Parliament House. State and Territory members are preparing to use the primary model to show the 15% GST covering all food, water and sewage could raise $45 million a year. The local share market has closed lower amid worries about a drop in the price of oil. G'day guys, Billy here. Well, I'm just end of the day scrapping and I'm just relaxing, having a nice coffee. About my 26 smoke for the day, and it's going to be an absolutely beautiful sunset tonight, guys. I'm stuck here at home, I'm too tired to go out. But look at those beautiful clouds, they look like they're going to be mammatus clouds, possible sign of rain coming again. Get him up. Go on, get him up. Get the cut. As you can see, guys, Banjo loves his teddy bears. And I find those out the dump and I bring them home. And as you can see, all the fluff around. That's the stuff that the birds pick up. Who's that? Who's that? Get out of there! So all that fluff, guys, is from Banjo ripping up the teddy bears. He loves them. Who's the ball? Come on, here. Who's the ball? <laughs> 